So where are we going? We're going to Garmerstadt. So this morning we've just been shopping. Yeah. Where do we go? Monkey? There were some we really cool Monkey. clothes. We, go, we went so far. Uh, was that the area that we were yeah, in? Yeah, it's like south of Garmerstadt or something. It's like, uh, so down the sort of corner of Sudbal. Really lovely. Yeah, it was really cool. There's some lovely also, stuff. Also, like Tiger, but a bit nicer. Yeah, a bit posher than that. A bit posher, and they had the invisible bicycle helmets as well, which are really cool. But expensive, so we but didn't buy one. But expensive, no. But we're yeah, just yeah. walking now from our apartment, which is in uh, which Chaudemont, area? Uh, near on Chaudemont, it's kind of the north part. Really nice old higgledy piggledy upstairs from a lovely English pub. And we're going up to Gamlerstad. We are. In fact, we can just see across the river there. That's where we're going to head, over to Gamrestad. Uh, this just looks like an old gate, really. But, yeah, um, but behind yeah. it. This is the kind of neighbourhood we're in. It's kind of all higgledy-piggledy and lovely and cobbledy and really rather groovy. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Very oh. sunny and blue sky. A little bit cold. And I had a cake for breakfast. Yeah. And, uh, and I didn't, because I'm being good. And I had a big omelette, which I did. was also nice. These that? lovely cakes. Scandies are so good at cakes. What is that, what is that thing? I don't know. There's a tiramisu cake. I don't know what's in there, but it looks like it looks like a giant tea, uh, tea cake. Tannocks. tannocks, yeah. And that's one with coconut on. Vita grab. I don't know. Uh, but so we're just approaching an Indusca, which is one of the coolest shops that we first discovered probably how many years ago? 12, 12 years ago or something in G Gothenburg, or, also known as Yeti Boy. And um, I've not really been back since. It's so been a decade or more. Uh, we're going to go in and have a look and see what we can find. There are scandy jumpers there. Yeah. I think that's right five as well, isn't it? In every town there's a geek bookshop, Nance found one. Ta-da! Are we going in then? Looks like we're going in. Get a cool phase in sunlight. I'm feeling it. Yeah. It's a nice spot. It is. It's a nice town. Should we head on over then? Yeah. So what's the name of this department store that we're in? Ahem. <coughs> what? Ahem. <coughs> uh -huh. Ahem. <laughs> um, I thought you were just getting a cake. Yeah. Is big it going to be a really big cake? Is there any left in the bottom of the bucket? Where are we? Sweet Sweden. Uh, and and it's got garden. Garden just means road. Yeah. Uh, we're on a, a subway we are. station. There's, there's a silly man over there who just. Jump down onto the track. Did he? Back off again. Yeah. That's crazy, crazy talk. I don't know. I don't know so why. We but just you know. had a lovely evening. It's been absolutely lovely. Very, very nice. Lovely, bright, sunny Swedish mm. evening. Bright sun, fresh, cold toes. Cold toes. Playing in the garden. Long, sort of summer light starting to come in. Really, really lovely, lovely place they have. Nice, nice to spend time with family. It's day two in Stockholm. Yeah. And day three for me. Well, yeah, day two of our holiday. Yeah. And we were just walking across to another island. I've forgotten the name already. From Sodermalm, where we're staying. And Ant's seen uh, a submarine. So we're having to go and investigate, of course. Yeah. Little. little submarine apparently. So what's this bridge we're crossing now? Uh, it's a bridge, a bridge in, in Stockholm, um, over fast running water, good spot for fishing. There are people fishing off the back of the palace there. Uh, yeah. It's a bit smart around here. 
Yeah, I only mean the whole sluicey bit, although it's, it's like a major traffic interchange and I don't think anyone in Sweden feels they've ever got it right so far. Yeah. It's a bit of a concrete mess. So are we, coming, are we going off the Gamla Stad on somewhere else Yeah, now? so that's the Royal Palace, that big looming model of it behind us. Now we're going at uh, Nordbrumalm or something. Then we're going to go right away around over there. Maybe catch some nice museums and hopefully get a coffee on the way. Another bridge to cross. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lots of nice old boats. Wherever we seem to go on holiday, we always end up somewhere where there are nice old boats. I, I, I am my father's <laughs> son. We found a very nice looking cafe. And a bit desperate for a coffee. Slightly. <laughs> yeah, but it looks really nice and miles of cake. There's a nice sun, sunny terrace outside so we're gonna have a bit of an early lunch and we're now on Dior Garden. Dior Garden, yeah. This yeah. Re yeah. restaurant cafe is called Blah Port. Yeah. Looks very nice. Look at all the cake. Okay. Lots of delicious cakes. <laughs> A simple sandwich lunch, so we could also have massive cakes. Look at the cakes! And I sit in this lovely sunny garden, and I can hear Abba playing. The Abba Museum is next door. We might go there in a minute. I'm very Best excited. of all, I have a coffee. <laughs> We're at the Vast Museum, and I have to say, for an entrance to a museum, this is up there with the Eden Project. He just comes through the door and he's like, wow, check it out. Really nice old ship, but it's beautiful. Pretty massive. Awesome. So what did you think of the uh, Vasa Museum? Uh, Vastastic. <laughs> it's really nice. The really boat good. was cool, but I think it was quite an overblown exhibition for something that basically just went a few feet and then sank. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Didn't yeah. have that sense of history and like... There's not a huge story around it. No. Man builds boat, build, boat sinks. Yeah, and then there's all it. like four floors of exhibits around that. Bye. <laughs> We're at the Abba Museum. Yes, yes we are. Yes. That's very good. Excellent. The Abba Museum was quite fun, but it was really, really busy and we weren't able to go into any of the karaoke booths, which made me a bit sad and it was a bit full and sort of Quite bustly cool. and oh, there were so some good exhibits nice. the costumes were really good they had lots of their original costumes and yeah. all the um, album covers which is quite interesting yeah and the original mixing desk which is very cool you found that I did find a mixing yeah. desk cool. it was a really nice old analogue desk it's yeah, cool. it was fun generally yeah. but I don't know I think we're going to go now and get on a random tram and see where we end up groovy old tram style I have no idea where it's going but we're going to get on it this tram has a cafe in it. I'm very excited. Buy tickets for Yes, you buy tickets here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We found a Sephora. And Ant's trying on some perfume. Being in a metrosexual, or well, when in Stockholm, it is, and it looks like an old cinema. It's really cute. Should we go in? It feels more like Affleck's Palace or something. It's a bit more markety, isn't it? Look at this place. Worth coming in just for the space. See where the changing rooms are. Where? On stage. Oh, so you can come out and go, ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Going up in a gold lift. Glorious retail space. Didn't buy anything, but it was well worth a look round. Oh, hell yeah. Really cool, and if you like hipster stuff, yeah, really and I kind of there. like how it wasn't like every other urban outfit is everywhere. No, it had some different, very samey, yeah, stock it just feel a bit different. Yeah. Is it a second hand bookshop? No, it's just a really cool bookshop. We're in Beyond Retro. Ants just about to try on some groovy shirts. I found some nice things, but none of them are in my size. So I'm just going to sit in this groovy retro chair and wait for him to come out of the changing room. Mr. Ben style. So this one's too big as well. Really. Nant doesn't want to wear it as a shirt dress, apparently. 
Mum, this is one's for you. Cliff Barnes themed restaurant for all Dallas fans. We won't be going to Cliff Barnes restaurant because it's closed. Um, we've walked a long way to find it. Um, but I'm sure there's somewhere else nice to eat around here. We had a really nice meal in Rival just here, which it's very, very nice indeed. is Benny from Abba's hotel. He wasn't there. He wasn't, no. But it, you could tell, you know, it was stylish and cool. And, uh, was great. and rather over What did you have? Some sort of reindeer. Mm, I had reindeer and mashed potato. It was very fine. I mm -hmm. had, it said it was turnip, but it was actually parsnip, which is better really, because parsnip Blame is nicer. Blame the Swedes. Exactly. Um, we didn't have pudding, we just had booze. Stuck all my night. <laughs> it's Sunday in Stockholm. A little bit grey. It's gone a bit grey and the water's really rough. Though. People canoeing out there. We were going to try and get a boat somewhere, but there aren't any boats running. Mm, the winter timetable still. So we're going to go on into medieval off the old city. Huh? Where are we? Um, we're at the northern end of Vastelangarten, at the corner of Mergarten, and we're walking south of Vastelangarten. We're heading to the heart. Of Stockholm's earliest history. So we went and had a look around the lovely cathedral, it's very which nice. is very pretty and um, quite small for a, a modest, refined, yeah, for like a capital classy. city cathedral. It was really beautiful. And then we've had lunch in this place, which is just around the corner from there, and in a bit of a touristy spot, but was also very tasty and nice. Oh, I had yeah. spinach soup. What did we have? Some sort of fishy it's thing. An enormous fishy thing. Yeah, and we, acres of fish. And so we're feeling a bit. Yeah, 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 trying to find yeah, yeah, yeah. the NK department store. Got it, got it on the map, got it on the map. You can hear marching bands. We're going towards the marching band. Do some marching. Well, I don't know, I'd rather have been a pay super trooper. We have heard that they do have it in the rapid Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> has changed hats since the last piece of footage. Would you like to explain the situation? <laughs> the, uh, the NK hat bar, as it's signed, uh, was staffed by a very, very friendly and helpful Stockholm lady who actually managed to dig out from their stock extra large hatteras in cotton blue. If this is it, I am returned to my natural State. How long was it since you lost the one you had? I, six months, maybe. It's raining in Stockholm today. It's not. It's not very nice. Uh, it's raining quite a lot, and um, we have just taken probably the least picturesque walk along the side of a motorway to get to a museum, which I'm hoping will be a good museum and we'll make up for this not so pleasant walk. What did you think of the exhibition? So really like the Robert Frank stuff. So the next one we saw was okay. The last one was left me cold. It's kind of worth coming here for this amazing view. Yeah. And it's yeah. like a really nice cafe. Look at the nice cafe. There's some very good dinosaurs here. <laughs> They've got in 
Manchester anyway. So the weather was really bad, so yeah, instead kinda. of going to more cultural things, we've ended up in a mall again. Yeah. And that was an alright sort of toy shop, quite a lot of plasticky, yeah. girly things. Yeah. And we just spotted Class Olsen, which is, how would you describe it? A kind of random shop of things. I think things. Eddie described it as being embargoes. Uh, it's what? Like, it's like Tiger but with screwdrivers. Yeah, it's sort of it's in the Maplin vein but not technology, just sort of home stuff. <coughs> of course everybody needs a robotic gall collector. Uh, the crocodile skin basin and the toilet was like that as well. <laughs> that was very weird. We haven't really vlogged for ages because we've just been schlepping, schlepping around shops. Um, it's a bit, a bit of a gloomy day. Oh, we're going to squeeze into one of these together. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, we haven't really bought anything even though we've been around lots of shops. No, no. But Amp really wants to go to this food hall. We said food hall about five times. Food hall. Um, food hall. Food, food hall. It does look quite nice. Yeah. And after that we're going to go to the cinema. Yeah. Because what else to do on a rainy day really? And it yeah. does look like quite a nice cinema. So. We kind of did things the wrong way around. Yeah. And suddenly it's shiny. We should have done more sort of outdoorsy things. But we went to museums uh, yeah. and now we're left with the shopping. Exactly. Well, these like kind of standard fish counters, and then everyone gives over at least a quarter of their counter space. It's a nice space where you can sip a nice glass of wine and have some oysters in the market. I think that's classy. Here's the cinema where we're going. Looks very groovy. No, I thought, being as it's a Swedish cinema, that they probably have good snacks, and I was right. There's a lot of amazing snacks here. Yeah. Spice banana. Yeah, it's... Oh, We've got popcorn and this weird seasoning that goes on it. And it's cheddar, nacho cheddar flavor. The film we went to see was quite novel-like in a way, wasn't it? Well, it was supposedly based on a novel that was based on a story. Yeah. I mean, it had a very nice narrative arc at the heart of it. The idea of the author's voice, and not only the author's voice, but as someone relating a tale. Just, it's, it's always a nice thing, the idea of someone telling a story. It's their story. They're emotionally engaged with it, so it invites you in to be engaged with it as well. It's really lovely. The way they took a space and showed time passing and eras passing through the space. And now we're in some crazy Russian themed bar in Yeah, having quite a nice Stockholm. beer. Yeah. That's nice beer. Yeah, a round of beers, only two small bottles of beer, 15 quid, so there we go. enjoy. 15 quid worth of beer. We just ate in here, this we place did. called Gossip. Here we serve crazy good. It was our last Bengals. meal in Stockholm, sad face, but it was very, very nice. Oh, we're going to have breakfast though. Well, our last evening meal, I should okay, say. Okay, okay. Um, and now we're heading back to the apartment, I guess. It's Monday night, yeah. so it's quite quiet. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's bar over the road called Snotty. That's still open. Oh, I think I can live without that. Nesta, Knista. We're not in Stockholm anymore. We got the train up this morning. Um, up to Uppsala. We're just having a little explore around. We've got quite a nice, imposing looking cathedral. This is still out for the sound of the sacrifice. <laughs> so we uh, had some lunch, nothing special in yeah. Uppsala. We tried Wayne's. Wayne's Coffee House, which is kind of Starbucks here. Yeah. I not really see any Starbucks. Um, and then we got on the bus to Gamla Uppsala, which just means old Uppsala, old Uppsala I think. Yeah. And this is where they used to have ritual sacrifices and things, and yeah. Ant's covering up his neck. Because, because of the scene in Vikings where they slit the throats really slowly, and it makes a girl funny when you think about it. Yeah, horrid. Um, hopefully there won't be any pictures like that or anything I'm here. I'm kind of hoping. But there's, there's not much to see here. I think it's just more of an atmospheric site. Yeah, kind of like old Sarum. Yeah, exactly. And there's, there is a fairly old church over there, but not Viking. And I think that's probably the Viking Museum, maybe, yeah. in there. Yeah, we so we're going to go up the hill first and have a look. It's kind of got a continuous history.
mystery of total confusion and nobody, nobody really knowing what it's about. There's some sense that it was a sacred place and has been used as such even until quite recent times. Yeah. That acknowledgement of people have come here to be buried or to worship. Yeah. It's really strange. It's had huge amounts of symbolism. But facts really the ground. But nice spot called that. Really it's called it. I thought it was quite funny how they did it that those excavations and they were like digging down down and it was all falling over the place and when they got there there isn't much there. It's just no, like a few tiny bones little and little pots as yeah. a bit of an anti climber. No, it's like the mound is the thing. Yeah. They didn't necessarily need loads of pictures, they just had a big blob of earth and yeah. that showed the status. It's quite totally. funny. Anyway. Oh, it's fine, I think it was worth coming here, I enjoyed it. Yeah.